Hey guys, what's up? Stark here. And today I'm going over this super annoying thing you might run into. And the caveat is this is going to work on normals that are pointing in one direction. So uh, I just made this thing here that I have looping using vellum and they're just pinpoints for each slice. Okay. So I'm going to kind of rebuild it and then you will run into the exact problem that I'm sure most of you guys have run into a million times. So I just have this, the Alembic of, uh, it's the digital Emily head. And then in here I have the subnet of the whole process to make the slices, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an assemble node. All right. I'm just rebuilding all the steps. We don't need to create the inside edges. We'll just transfer everything. And then we're going to, oh, actually, sorry, I want to do it up here because it looks fancier. All right, move this guy over and then we're going to do a for each named primitive. And before I do that, I'm going to call this guy sliver. And I don't want to do this all in one pass. So we have, you know, this, uh, move this down. So we just have the spline and they're packed. So all we have to do is unpack it. And I'm just kind of going through this part really, really quickly because I want to get to the part that's annoying and then show you a super easy way to fix it. So we have unpack and then we're going to do a polyfill. Okay. And let's go terrible so we're just going to do a single polygon auto complete boundaries that's what it's going to look like which would error out whatever okay let's do another resample or well it's another resample for me because i did it in the uh other thing so we're going to do it by the polygon edge and then we'll do 0 0.25 and let me go down here and I'll just go to polygon one because why not? And then hide this. Flat wire shaded, nothing's happening here. That is totally fine. All right. So this is where we're at. Resample, turn it off. Fancy. Now we're gonna do a divide. And that looks terrible, so let's turn off the uh, convex polygons. And I want to use the bricker. Okay, so now we're starting to get sort of, <laughs> I don't want to say cleaner topology, but sort of. All right. And then we're going to do, let's just do normals to points before we add it. And then I'm going to, Go in here and I want to shuffle through. Or not shuffle through it. Okay, so here is the problem. You see these, how it's turning blue? This is because the normals are facing a different direction, and this is the most annoying thing that could possibly happen when you're doing things. Okay, so let's just look at all of this or not piece attribute name, sorry. Let me turn off the single pass and let it run. Now you, you can see this. So you could go in here manually and reverse the normals, but we're not gonna do that because it's Houdini and we don't have to, okay? And you can see there's a ton of them that are like flipped. In fact, I feel like most of them are, and this is just, it just happens, okay? So, I, I did not want to have to do that manually, obviously. So what I did is we'll go back in here and we'll just work on one. We'll work on this one because it's the opposite. And we'll look at the normals. And you can see that they're pointing down as opposed to the ones that aren't. So knowing that, this is going to be true for, see all of them, the ones that are dark on the top, meaning the normals are facing. So what we could do is we'll just save that attribute Okay, and then we'll use it, we'll group it. So all we're gonna do is an attribute promote. 
So attribute promote, I'm gonna be using two. So I'm just gonna copy this one for now. All right. Now we want this normal and we're gonna put it to the detail. Okay. Now we want the minimum. The reason we want the minimum is because we want the, the minimum normals. All right. So go over here and you can see that is the minimum. All right. And then papa, we'll go papa. Sorry, I have to take it from the detail and then we're going to put it to the primitive and papa normal. Okay. And we keep that as average. Now we have these here, all right? So we have the normal, all right? Now what we'll do is do an attribute wrangle, okay? And on the primitives, we could do if at n, so the normal, is less than zero because they're in negative uh, one. And we'll put it into a group called, let's call it flip equals one. Okay. So now let me just go outside again here. You'll start to see. Which ones are in fact, let me, let me pack them because that's probably a better. Now you can see which ones aren't and which ones are. Okay. So we have 163 slices and as you can see, there's tons of them that need to be flipped. All right. So keep this here. We'll just undo that. We'll turn off the view of the normals and then it's as easy as a reverse. Okay. You can see it's just flipping all of them, but we have this flip group and wait, wanna, I already did it. I just ruined the magic. So now you can see that they're all there. All right. They're all there. Everything is facing the same direction. Okay. And then if we pack it, I'm not going into the whole, I, I did a remesh, but I'm not going to. So we could just go ahead and see our normals are on the primitives. Change that to points, uh, normal. Points, now they're all pointing in the same direction. And if you don't believe me, We'll just go all the way up, scroll through, and once I remesh this, which I'm not showing in here, but once it's remeshed and we are packed and we turn it off and we go here and sorry, single pass, boom. So now all of our normals are facing the correct direction. And I'm sure there's a quicker way to do it. I just did this and I thought I would share. In fact, I thought of a quicker way to do it, but the methodology is here. So do not, do not worry, but just take this little, little bit. Sorry, I'm not trying to click around everything and then use it to your advantage. Okay. So that's about it. So it was very quick and easy thing. Uh, the, the basic rule is you're trying to find the normal direction you want or the correct one. And for the ones that do not line up to that, you want to identify them, put it into a group, and then reverse the normal, and then you're all set. So that is it. And with that method, I accidentally closed my QuickTime, so I can't show it to you. So that's all, guys. I hope this helps because it's super annoying. And that is all. Later, guys.